Welcome to my channel once again. This is Tech PBA. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I will show you how to download and install the latest version of TeamViewer the easiest way. So TeamViewer is a remote desktop application. Um, you can install on your PC to connect to other um, PCs remotely, be it um, over the internet or on a local area network. So the first thing I will do is to open um, the Google Chrome browser, you can actually use any browser to download it. I'll search for Team Viewer download. And then, guys, you want to any application you you download, you want to download from the um, product website. So in this case, I selected the Team Viewer download from the Team Viewer websites. I'll click on the new tab or the tab that is open, and then I'll click. I'll select the download for free button. On the download page, I'll click on the download now. Now you'll be taken to the various downloads um, page. So you can actually download the Team Viewer application for Windows. You can download it for Mac OS. You can download it for Linux. You can download for Chrome OS. You can download for Raspberry Pi, Android, and then iOS. So um, you can download a version to receive support if you want to receive support from a technical person you can download this version select the architecture of your pc either 64 bit or 32 bit click on which one uh, is your pc and then download it if you want to set up unattended access to a device which you can always connect to you can you have to download this um, version of the team viewer application so again, you select the architecture, either the 64 bits or the 32 bits, and then download it and install on your PC. If you want to mass deploy TeamViewer, you have to click on the login. Um, if you want to join a meeting or start a meeting, you have to select the, the last one. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to download the Team Viewer full client. With this one, you can actually offer support to somebody else by connecting to the person's PC, or you can also receive support by from somebody else connecting to your PC. So I will select the download 64-bit because my PC is a 64-bit version beside the Team Viewer full client, and then the download should. Um, Start and then complete. Once complete, click the open folder icon to open the downloads folder. Double click the application and then you will be taken to this um, pop up window. Select um, which um, option you want. In this case, I will select the default installation and then I will click accept and next. Once you click accept and next, the installation would begin and then we should be able to continue from there once the installation is done. Once done, you will you'll be presented with a team viewer license agreements, the end user license agreement. Select the checkbox to accept and then click the continue button to continue. Then wait for the application to start up, and then this is the new interface for the Team Viewer application. It's a little bit different from the old version, so you can actually sign into Team Viewer if you have an account, or if you don't, you can create a new one. And then down there, you will see "Ready to Connect," secure connection, with the green dots beside it, indicating that your PC is re ready to receive connections from external um, application the team view external application so to for somebody to connect to your pc the person would need your id which is stated down there and then the password you can actually generate a new password by clicking that button or you can copy the password so once again you can change to the old interface personally i don't like this interface so i'll click the that button and then once you click it Team Viewer would ask to restart the application to go back to the old interface. So click restart and then this is the old interface. This used to be the interface before it was upgraded to what we saw earlier. 
So you can see that the ID didn't change. And then to go back to the new interface, you can as well toggle that radio button to go to the new interface. So on the old interface, you can type the the person you, or the PC or the system you want to connect to. You can type the ID in that box up there and then click the connect button. You can set up unattended access. Um, you can pretty much do anything and everything you can do in the... Um, in the in the new interface on the old interface guys i need to say that um for every outgoing um, connection you would need to sign in with the team viewer a verified team viewer account so if you if you don't sign in and even you connect you you are able to connect successfully to another pc um the connection will last for just five minutes and then after five minutes you will be disconnected automatically until you sign in with a, a verified team viewer account that is the only way you can have a long lasting um, or a longer um, connection to a remote pc so i'll switch back by clicking the new interface radio button to go back to the new interface so yes guys this has been a quick video tutorial on how to download and install TeamViewer, the latest, the very latest version, the 2024 version of TeamViewer on your PCs. Kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to bring you more of such videos. Click on the like button if this video was helpful or if you enjoyed watching it. Um, share this video and then turn on notifications for all to be the first to watch my videos every time I upload them. Thank you and I will see you in another video. Bye.